Okay, so I'm back in the apartment. I got all of my Amazon packages, rugs, curtain rods, some really oddly shaped extra shoes, new TV. These were just sort of like in the lobby. This doesn't even count like the extra stuff. This was from my old place now. And then uh, there's another box there, but I did quite a bit of pre-move. Uh, before the movers get here tomorrow. I still have my clothes, but it's about 8 o'clock, and I just don't think I'm going to do all that. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm just getting off work, and I have a ton of stuff to do before the movers get here. Uh, this is my bed. I need to take it apart and probably just sleep on the mattress tonight. Then I'm going to attempt to move these things. This is like a bunch of artwork that I have in my suitcase, sort of padded. Uh, more artwork. So I'm going to try to take that and just kind of cruising through here. All of my shoes. Uh, I've got six of these cases. And I'm going to attempt to do that. And then on top of that, I kind of need to do laundry and... Uh, uh, some other stuff. I'm really jazzed. I'm a little bit out of breath, but I actually just moved all these by myself. And as you can see, I can fit one more, maybe. But, uh, you know, we'll see everything goes after all this move, because finances are dwindling. Hey guys, I'm waiting. Uh, I've just sort of cleared the carpet. Excuse the throw and the pillow i'm literally laying on the floor and watching season three of gary girls um so waiting for my sofa from article uh, tomorrow morning it's gonna kind of go where the poof is and like cover all of that crap that's there on the desk uh also excuse the pizza and mini coca-cola in the background but uh basically got a big chunk done already Pretty much got everything out. We'll probably change a lot later, but uh, we're doing pretty good so far. So. Okay, you guys, so I just unpacked one, and uh, like I said, this is kind of what it looks like. So I essentially uh, got nine of these, and I am going to put all of my dry goods in it and look like I live in a general store, uh, which has always been my dream. So wish me luck. All right, I kind of thought these might be a little bit bigger, but then again, I mean, it did advertise. These are 64 ounces, I believe, um, which is like, come on, Bob. Like, you know what 64 ounces looks like. Um, so these are actually perfect and I'm certain that they'll fit in uh, my little built-in, so. Um, this is also very, very satisfying. Love that. So everything is unpacked, and I am thrilled. Um, I've got rice, cornmeal, flour, dry pasta, sugar, chia, oats, lentils, and then to be determined. And I think I'm gonna get like a bean or something. So anyway, uh, it looks gorgeous. I'm also thinking about getting just even like a little tap light underneath here just to really show it off. Maybe if I like, <laughs> if I have people over whenever uh, that is, which might be never, but uh, still think it would be cute. My mind is blown because I've been here for a little over two weeks now, and I thought that there were two lights in the kitchen. One, this sort of lights up the back area, and then the other sort of lights more of the front area here. But 
I do look, and so I thought you were kind of on your own. You see how dark it is? Like I'm in the very back of the kitchen. And I thought you had to turn the light on before that. And I literally just found out that there is um, like a light under here. But of course I'm not, there we go. A light right under here had no idea and not only that but there's a slight dimmer available as well makes everything so much better ignore all the junk